stand par. The question is that clause one stand par. I call the Honourable Member Eugenie Sage. Thank you, Mr Chair. This is a very dismal process. We've got a bill that's been put forward by the Minister that attacks the very integrity of conservation land. We've had a process which is totally anti-democratic. There hasn't been any opportunity for the public to have a say. And in that uh, committee stages, we had the minister sitting there not answering a single question posed by Labor members, New Zealand First, or Green members. We haven't had government members engaging with the debate to defend the bill because they know that it's indefensible. And yet we've got this bill which should really be called the um, Logging of Conservation Land Bill, opening up conservation land to the worst sort of damage from chainsaws, haulers, skidders, and the removal of uh, trees that are part of the whole uh, forest ecology. And it's a very sad day for conservation, um, Mr Chair, when we have this being passed without the public having the ability to say, have a say on what happens on public conservation land. And it's just that the Minister, by not answering, shows that there are objectives here that he's not being honest about. And with the departmental disclosure statement, it's very interesting reading through that as to what consultation or lack of consultation there has been in developing the bill. There is no reference in that disclosure statement that I can see to the Minister seeking any advice from the uh, bodies which are charged under the Conservation Act with providing advice, the New Zealand Conservation Authority and the West Coast Conservation Board. If he wasn't going to subject it to public consultation, at the very least he could have requested advice from the authority. Yes, it was considered at a meeting, but it was just rammed through. He didn't ask for uh, their advice. So again, Minister, you had the opportunity um, to respond to the questions. You haven't done that. What is the agenda here? You have highlighted that we haven't closed off the um, likelihood that this will be applied to other conservation land. And we've seen with the very dismissive way that you've treated the uh, amendments which were proposed by opposition members. My amendments were suggesting that there be a ban on heavy machinery such as skidders and haulers, that there be a prohibition on new roads and vehicle access tracks being constructed. The fact that they have been dismissed without even any comment means that the government is not serious about minimising the damage from these logging operations. There's been no no consideration of other amendments to uh, prevent the spread of weeds with the introduction of skidders and haulers, um, new roads being constructed. We are going to be damaging the integrity of areas which at the moment have very few um, exotic plants, very little weed spread, but the Minister won't even consider a uh, small amendment to make sure that there is little or no risk of um, exotic plants being introduced. So that shows the contempt with which um, the government is treating our conservation lands, that it doesn't even see it as important to minimise the um, impacts that logging will cause, and that it's just prepared to go ahead with the bill um, as introduced. Um, without any public process and without recognising the work that opposition members have done to try and make a bad bill a little bit less bad by putting a few more controls on the way in which logging uh, can occur. And as uh, Mr Prosser for New Zealand first noted, the way in which the bill um, allows the export of sawn timber means that it won't um, minimise the amount of timber that's taken off these conservation lands, that it will be creating a big market uh, overseas for our treasured native trees. This is a very bad bill from Mr Brownlee's comments when he um, led off in the speeches. It is all about resuscitating an industry that should have died properly last century. But that's typical of this government's economic policies. It's not interested in sustainability. It's not interested in long-term, well-paid jobs. It wants a short-term boom-and-bust industry which considers, uh, which um, perpetuates those cycles that we've seen on the coast of extracting resources, whether they be trees, 
coal, gold, um, bo uh, a boom and bust industry. And that's what this bill will do with uh, resuscitating an industry that we closed off on public land that people thought our conservation lands were protected from in 1999 when the Timberlands Beach scheme was wound up and when subsequently those forests were added to the conservation estate. This government is looking backwards in allowing native forest logging to restart again. I call the Honourable Phil Heatley. Chairman, I move that the question be now put. I'm going to call the honourable member.